Well, we're back again. Here we go. We got Daniel Espinoza here and Roger Bagley, of course. Daniel, thanks for coming. Yeah, Dan, thanks, thanks for, for having coming. me. Yeah. What time did you get out of bed today? Three. Three? I'm surprised you made it over here. <laughs> <laughs> did you really get out of bed at three? Come on. I just didn't know what else to do. What do you mean? I was trying to skate and everyone kind of flaked. So I just, no, you like, called me earlier than three. No, though. I know that, but I just didn't get out of bed. Okay, what time did you wake up? Like 8.30. And you stayed in bed from 8.30 to 3? I didn't 3? know what else to do. I like you get I, up and you start your day. You I don't get a know. coffee and you do I live a normal Pomona. person I don't have shit. any friends out there. All right, take us through a normal day in the life of fucking Daniel Espinosa. <laughs> am I skating or am I not skating? You don't know you, that you, yet. You don't know. You have to create your own destiny. All right, I wake up at like maybe 6 a.m. 6 a.m.? I wake up really early for no reason. Oh, my God. That would drive me crazy. Do you have cereal when you wake up that early? No. No? I just watch the news. You watch, what do you watch, CNN or something? Channel 5. What's Channel 5? Kay Taylor. Why do you watch Channel 5? I don't is know. Is there like a hot anchor woman there? Is there a hot actually, weather actually, woman? The, Jackie yeah. Johnson, right? No. The weather? It's, it's like Christina Pastacucci or something like that. Yeah. Christina yeah. Pastacucci. I think that's what her name is. I can't remember. Okay, so you get out of it. You watch the news, mm-hmm. and then you're still in bed. Take a shower. Okay, you get out of bed. You take yeah. a shower. Now, do Once, you pick up the phone and try and call someone to like say what's going on, or do you like wait for people to call you? No, I try to call everybody. Yeah. Okay, so by this time you get out of bed, take a shower. What time is it? It has to be before ten. Why? Does your hot water turn off or something? No, what it's is... just if celebrity name game starts. <laughs> I know, like I've been lagging. You've been I don't watching know what yeah. the hell he's talking about. Celebrity name. You're gonna tune in to KTLA. So then you're, you take a shower, then you get out. Yeah. And then when what do you do? Go skate. Okay. Where do you where do you go skate? Well, I've just been skating with feds. Okay, feds. So you got you're working on the Lakai video. Yeah. You having yeah. a good time? It's terrible. Okay. Being in LA, I hate it. <laughs> That's why I go to the skate park. Why don't you take control and go where you want to go? This is some bullshit, Raj. <laughs> you always do this. Man. What do you mean? Because this guy this guy is an encyclopedia of skate spots, right? And then he would always call us up. Where do you want to go skate? Uh, I don't know. What do you you got to know where you want to go skate? Oh, well, you get a, you have an idea of what you want to skate. But it would just help if somebody helped us, you yeah. know, like, hey, do you want to skate Chris, this spot? Let me take your hand and let me bring you to spots. Come on, let's fucking go. hands are ice cold. We've been skating a lot of spots. We've just been getting kicked out like crazy. So I mean, it's not like we're not trying. Like I've we've actually been trying. It's hard, man. L.A. is hard, dude. Yes. That's why I mean, just go post up in Barcelona for yeah. like two months. Could you do that? I would love to, See, no, dude. I would go not. on tour with this kid all the time. See, the thing is, is what are you God. laughing at, man? I've been on tour with that. Dude. We've all been on tour together. <laughs> That's where I was going with this. Is we we this table right here? We have a history, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Audio days, right? Those are some good days. Sitting Thanks. in the good van, times. yeah. Or the RV. The RV. I wasn't in the RV. You I was were in, in the RV. I wasn't. I was in the van, but I'd go into the RV. Mm. When they had the Guitar Hero. You weren't old enough to be in the RV. I don't think so. Yeah. That was in like the first tour we went on, though. Or maybe maybe other other tours too, but. One tour we had the RV. Yeah, the the one that was in Chicago. I wasn't on that one. Yeah, it was. In Chicago. Yeah. You must have been on it. Bam was there, and Bam got hurt. Oh, he's like slammed on the in the. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah and then yeah. Travis got like punched in the head yeah, by some random, some random dude. dude. No way, really. I yeah. don't remember that. He was dropping really? in, and I was behind him, and, and I was some like, kid, like sixteen. Punched him. Yeah. Shut up. Everyone, like Nick and Nesser and everyone was on the other side of the park. And it was just me and Travis. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Well, you probably didn't do anything. Obviously, you the, ran. the dude was bigger than me. I didn't know. He didn't look at me. He just like ran up and punched Travis in the back of the head while he was dropping in. Right. I must have been in the RV playing uh, Guitar Hero. Possibly. It was the night before the demo. We were there like checking out the park and oh, getting warmed up. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, I was in the yeah, hotel yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Checking out the park. Yeah, yeah that yeah, makes no. sense. You were like 15 at the time, right? 15, 16. Somewhere. You were young. Yeah. So it, he, it, it was when you were really annoying and like always borrowing my phone to look at MySpace. Well, you, you know, hey, you, you had know, a sidekick. What else do you do with it? You know what I, I nicknamed him. Don't even start. Daniel Espinoying. I never knew that. You, what? I never heard that. <laughs> I thought they, I thought that went far. No. I didn't go I that far. That, I think it was like in your little circle with him. Maybe. It was, yeah, it was just between us. Daniel yeah. Espinoying. Fit perfect. Better than spinach. I don't yeah. know why Fuck people you. get this fucking thing. I'm not here to roast the kid. I'm just saying that this, these, this, these were the good times that we had. We had some good times. You know? Every five minutes. Hey, Raj, can I borrow your phone? Why? I just want you to my MySpace. But seriously, it was like every five minutes. I'm like, fuck, this kid is annoying. Like, the, he, he told me just today that um, he thought I was an asshole. You kind of were an asshole. What? When I first met him, he seemed like an asshole. Yeah. No way. He got in You're the van and he like bull- looked at me and I was just like, holy God. He had like this like, entitled like 
like millennial thing going on. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? <laughs> you know how, Come like, on. You know how girls say like they have like that resting bitch face? Yeah. That was you. <laughs> <laughs> That's some bullshit, dude. <laughs> you don't even know what you're talking about. But no, he would. I get, I jump in the van and find some long-haired little kid sitting there. The <laughs> did you this? did you ride for audio just for the paycheck? Yeah, of course. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> what else do I think I rode for him yeah. for the shoes? <laughs> Come on. No, dude. At the time, it was a great team, man. Do you remember his first ad? No. He had an ad, like the first ad he had. Welcome to the team. This ad was it so good. It wasn't even good. you skating. It was just you it's standing him in a hammock. <laughs> You're just in the hammock. That was it. That's awesome. easiest ad I've ever shot. Yeah. Are you kidding me? You didn't have to break a sweat. Did you ever have a skate ad for them? Of course, dude. I think I had a couple ads on you, the stage. You did. And you had shit. a shit. That's right. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh. For the Hamilton shoe. Do we want to talk about my switch, <laughs> switch flip, switch Manny on the stage? <laughs> no. Okay. Maybe, maybe next time. But you thought I was an asshole. I don't. Yeah. Know that's what, why though. I don't, I don't remember. I was like 15 or 16. But so then we age. ended up being like. But you awesome were an annoying friends, little though. kid though back then. Yeah, so you well, like he, he was with, probably just annoyed by you too. Well, I didn't know I was annoying back then. <laughs> you were annoying back then. I'm sorry. You got better. But going back to it, yeah, the team was sick at the time. I mean, you had Ed, Ed Salego, Kenny Anderson, Ernie Torres. Uh, help me out here. Keep going. Yeah, Nate Broussard. Nate Sean was White. So sick. Sean White was the <laughs> dopest. Bam. Me and Sh Bam. You know what? Bam is a cool motherfucker, dude. I like that guy a lot. I didn't even meet him that trip. Really? Because he was there for a day and he hit his head and fucking threw up and left. Yeah. But I thought he was just a cool dude, you know? And then when we went on a chocolate trip, we stopped at his house mm -hmm. and he was like, yeah, here, here are my keys to my house and uh, Have fun. I'm going to go to my girlfriend's house. So you guys just, anybody skated with us for a while mm -hmm. and uh, we just were in his house and he wasn't there. It's pretty cool. I wouldn't give you two the keys to my house. <laughs> Shit. Forget about it. I think you have let me stay at your house, though. So. Well, yeah, but I didn't give you the key. I was there, though. You so, For like two yeah. weeks. Well, you would come up to my house a lot and stay. Yeah. Was this when you were Chocolate Flow? I was Chris Flow. Chris yeah. Flow. <laughs> so, yeah. It's heavy flow right there. I mean, I'm telling you, it's hard to get on that yeah. program. Hey, he, he hooked it up like really good. Then you're like, All right, I'm fucking, I, I quit. I'm going to cliche. No, he introduced me to Sam. Yeah. And then I started getting boards from Sam. Well, I was sick of giving him boards. <laughs> Fucking guy's taking half my box. <laughs> God. You weren't skating him anyways. Dude, but, <laughs> see, I don't know about this, Raj. You're always saying, I don't skate. I don't do this. No, I don't do that. You're the type of guy that rides bullshit. one board for a while. That's all I'm saying. Well, maybe, yeah, okay. okay it's right, like Kenny. Right. Yeah. What about, your, what about your car? What about it? Well, you, it's, it's a little weird. Some night you named your car Alice. Yeah. And, uh, Where did the name come from? It's actually from the movie Twilight. One of my oh. ex-girlfriends would make me watch it. And then the girl, like the character is Alice. And I always thought she was hot. And so that's where it's from. So you think your car is hot? He loves his car. How many times have you seen Fast and the Furious? A lot. <laughs> I can quote a lot. How Is many there? have there been Fast and Furious? Seven. That Vin Diesel character must be raking it in. Yeah, yeah. seriously. How did you get into cars? My dad. Oh, your dad? Yeah. My Let's dad see. used to have a shop. Oh, nice. And he used to take us to all like the Route 66s oh. and all that stuff. But your dad's like, he was like in a, more into American cars and you were like yeah. a, into race burners. Well, no, no. He had a Mustang. My first car was a Mustang. Yeah. Yeah, because his dad probably gave it to him. Because my dad did give it to me. Yeah. So. And then you're like, fuck it. I'm going to go Japanese. I just really liked the car. It didn't really matter who made it. I just like fell in love with it when I first seen it. Have you ever raced for a pink slip? No. No. Oh. I, I wouldn't want to. I see that in the movies all the time. These people race for pink slips. There's a whole TV show on that. Is there? Yeah. It's called Pink Slips. I it just is. finished paying off my car. Oh, really? It's yeah. about time. Wow. Six years. Six years. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm paying yeah. the minimal. Have you made so, money off a car before? I've gotten like free stuff from it. What kind of free stuff do you get? I got like suspension for free. I'm getting tires for free soon. How how did that all come about? Is it because you a sponsored skateboarder? Well, it's just, or is it because yeah. like, yo, this guy's got a dope car. Let's put our product on his car. No, I was just bored one day and I was just emailing companies trying to see if I can get free. Oh, you're cold calling. Yeah, <laughs> that's sick. <laughs> that's and amazing. so that's rad. And so I got hooked up twice because the the people that work there are skaters. Oh, sick. So it was just like instant. That, I feel like there's skaters everywhere you go. They are. We're, gonna, we're ruling the world, dude. I know. I know. Does you know your car I mean? have its own Instagram account? Yes, it does. <laughs> How many followers are on that? 1,600 or something like that. Oh God. It's Man. more than you, Raj. I know, right? <laughs> I only had it for like my close friends, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like all my car friends. 
but it's fun to do, right? I mean, you have the Instagram. I had one for the cat and everything. It's just yeah. fun, whatever. It's funny. I actually uh, had a conversation with this dude that was talking shit on me on my actual account. And then went to my car's account and was talking shit to me on there. And I was talking to him as my car. Oh, really? Because I'll talk to people as my car. He was talking shit to you on your page. On my, yeah. Then he went to the, your car's page. Yeah. And started talking shit to your car? Yeah. And so, like, like me, I'm, respo- I'm <laughs> this re- responding guy's talking to him shit as to, my car. It's like somebody's going on Larry's Instagram page and talking shit to him. Like, <laughs> yeah. fucking, you're talking shit to a cat. Yeah. Well, people have nothing better to do. Fuck That's you, not. cat. So you were talking to him as, as, you, as your car. Yeah. And then like I was backing myself up as my car. You know Jesus. what I mean? <laughs> wow. I was just laughing the entire time. You yeah, know what I mean? Cuz yeah. this dude was like taking it serious. Now, when people talk shit to you on your Instagram, um, cuz I'm sure it happens all the time. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> do you block people? I do. Here's the thing that I found out, right? Cuz somebody once in a while. Mhm. Rarely happens to me. But <laughs> the other night, Jesus. the other night, you got a shit Somebody talker. talk shit about one of my posts mm-hmm. and I responded to him. I said, or some other dude responded to him and, you know, was like, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. Like backing me backing up. Backing you and up. I was yeah. like, that's cool. But I don't want all that shit going on my fucking page. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like, take that somewhere else. So he talked shit to me and then I reported his comment yeah. because it was very v- vulgar. Really? Yeah. What did he, he say? He was Tell using you? fag and cunt and all this shit. So I reported him, mm-hmm. you know? And I don't report people much, but yeah. I said... Just foul fuck language. This guy. Yeah. Because I don't fucking use foul language. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I reported him. And when you report somebody, they disappear from your feed. Yeah. Right? Because other people started commenting on his shit too. And I'm like, like, what, what? the... F- and I went on my computer on my page. Yep. His comment was still there. Really? Yeah. It so I sink. reported it and it didn't. No, it just doesn't delete it. It, does, it, it like deletes it so it. you can't. It hides it from you. Yeah. What the? F- so on my computer, I had to log in and then delete his comment and then block him. Instagram but I thought that, that was really fucked up because you think it's gone. Yeah. But other people, like if you went on my page, you could see this guy talking shit. Yeah. And I, del- I thought it's gone. But recently, mm-hmm. you did a... Switch flip yeah. over your car. Biggest one I've done. Biggest one you've done. <laughs> yeah. But you hit your car. Yeah. How'd you feel? Terrible. Yeah. I cried. Did you? No. Shed a tear? A little bit. Yeah. I was pissed, obviously. I mean, listen, dude. If I hit my Chevy Volt, which is a lease, <laughs> I would feel kind of bad. I would be like, fuck, man. I hit my car. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I, like you can hear me screaming. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't. Uh, I don't turn the volume up on this. <laughs> Did it fuck your car up at all? Mm, I like gripped it and I put a little dent in it. I actually hit it twice. Well, I didn't mean to kick out like the way that I did. I kind of just like popped and like spazzed out. Yeah, but you know, like he's like in an elite club. He's like him, Felix, oh, Rob Felix Diedrich, to, yeah, Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk, Kerry Gets, Kerry Gets, Kerry Gets, Bam. Oh wow! It's only a few dudes who like do tricks over the car. I'm, yeah, but they have like Ferraris and shit. But nobody's ever kick flipped over a Chevy Volt. No. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I would love to see you kick flip over it. your car. I'm going to do Actually, it. Actually, just an Ollie would be great. Yeah, I would be happy seeing like an Ollie I'll this guy. I'll fucking snap an Ollie over my Volt. Really? From flat? Yeah. Take me to a loading dock. I'll pull the Volt. You want to go off right a now. loading dock over your Chevy Volt? Yeah, or a bump. I'll, I'll blast it off a curb cut. Mm-hmm. Well, no, this guy got fucking like 50 fucking million views on his Instagram for that. I was hyped on it. <laughs> Sounds like it. Actually, yeah. I got hit up from Falcon because of it. Falcon is tires. Uh, tires? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I always tag them in every photo of my car. So they finally hit me up. Which finally, I was, they're finally I was, like, all like, right, fun. dude, I yeah. get, uh, we're going to finally respond. Like he finally did something cool enough for us to respond. I mean, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I'm hyped on it. So they, what did they do? They Did they give you free shit or what? They want to do something with me, like with skating and my car. And nice. How much are those little race tires? Uh, they're probably like 1,500. Oh How God. fast do you burn through them? I've been through like three sets in a year. Three sets in a year. Yeah. Bro. I'm still running the first set of wheels that I got from fucking... For Christmas? Back yeah. Back in fucking 1999? Yeah. Jared Lucas sent me a box like over a year ago and those I'm still just, riding them. Those, are, those aren't on your car though, Rod. <laughs> I mean your girlfriend's car. <laughs> three sets of tires in a year. When I had my Prius, I didn't change my tire once for three years. Three years. Well, when one blows, I have to replace all four. All four. Instead of just like replacing that one. Right. Because when I had, I had a BMW 335, when I had to change a tire on that, and they were run flat tires, 
and one tire and an alignment cost me eight hundred dollars. Jesus, eight hundred dollars. Sounds like you got fucked, right? I straight bent over and said, "Give it to me." Yeah, <laughs> it was, dude. It was so fucked up. And that's when you're like, "I'm getting a Volt." Yeah, I got rid of it. No, I got the Prius. Oh, I got the Prius. I remember driving around with him though. He would take corners and shit. I mean, dude, with that car, ninety degree corner. I mean, you could hit that thing at like sixty miles an hour, and it just hugs. Can you do yeah, that in your Chevy Volt though? No. <laughs> But hey, I put it in. I put the Chevy Volt in sport mode today. Yeah, it was. And we um, fucking we, we, we zipped down the driveway, dude. It was <laughs> pretty. Yeah. No, no, it was, it's like a fart when your when your butt cheeks don't connect. <laughs> <laughs> Has Chris your car gotten you laid yet? Your car has gotten you laid, hasn't it? What? Has Alex gotten you laid? I can't answer these questions. You have a girlfriend right now? No. Well, no, his. So you can, you can I, I, no, I remember your one of your ex girlfriends. She had a, the same little kind of car. Oh, you met a girl on fucking like an Evo um, chat room, right? My ex girlfriend, we met because uh, every time you see another Evo, you would just kind of wave at each other, right? I kept getting cool guyed by like every car, like every Evo I've seen. Like I would wave at them, they'd look at me like I'm fucking retarded. And the I'm one just, day you saw her on the 10. No, I saw her like leaving Chino Park and then I waved at her and she like, I swear she cool guyed me and we have this this fight even till now that she waved back but i don't believe her so i went on the forums and i was like i waved at this chick and she fucking cool guy me i was like fuck you bitch or something like that and then she ended up commenting right after responding yeah. yeah and then we ended up hanging out and dating for like three years how many girls have you met on the evo fucking forum just one just one yeah so it's not like a, a really good place to go date i or wouldn't f- want to do that again yeah no, hey, why is that though? I just because don't. I don't like dating car girls. I I hear you. Because it's like it's like dating a skate chick. I was gonna say I I would never date a skate chick. Yeah, I just don't. I don't want to talk about skating. I hooked up with a girl who skated once. Yeah, had a great night with her. Uh-huh. Next morning, she's like, "This is when I was living with Bam." Yeah, she's like, "Hey, you want to go skate the mini ramp out back?" I'm like, "No." <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Go home. See? Go home. <laughs> I'm not down for the skate dates. Yeah. And same with the car thing. Like. I do that shit to get away. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So same thing with cars. Like I want to go hang out with my friends and do like dumb shit with my car friends. Car right. shit, yeah. yeah. And if she's there, it kind of ruins it. So was it weird when you were dating the girl and she was just kind of always, did she go to the little meetups and stuff? Was yeah, she just, sometimes, yeah. yeah. But I stopped going. Did she drive oh. better than you? No. You wouldn't be intimidated by a girl who like drove better than you? No. I would be intimidated if so my girlfriend if, could skate better than me. So what? If, <laughs> that's where I was going with this. What if you? What if you dated a skate chick, and her favorite skater was me? <laughs> I'd be like, I would back that. Would you? Fuck yeah. What? You wouldn't feel a little jealous? Like no. she always talked about me. She always put in my videos. She'd fast forward to my part. She, she had photos like, of them on the wall. Yeah. Well, then that's just like ob- like obsession. I always thought about that. You what, know. What if Chris already hit it? Well, then sloppy seconds. And then Raj, you could probably get <laughs> sloppy thirds. What do, they call, what do they call it? Trickle down. Trickle down. <laughs> you know this guy goes to Japan and just gets laid left and right. That's oh, really? not true. That well, only happened I, once. All right, I got hurt like a few what? days before that 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 trip, and so like I couldn't like dance or anything on the dance floor. So I was kind of like standing there like the entire time. Do you dance? I just get funny that he brought up dancing. That's all. <laughs> like and so everyone's dancing. Paul's being a fucking retard. And, like, I can't do anything because, like, my leg's fucked up. Yeah. And so, it just Paul was blowing it with every fucking girl that he... <laughs> <laughs> like, he's great at opening. Cannot close. Really? Mm. I mean, he closes, but... You know, I've never been to Japan. Really? Yeah, I want to go so it. bad. You would love I it. Lo- I want to go. It's pretty dope. Do you, should we go? We'll go. We'll, we'll go dance at some clubs. I bought some, like, used panties from there once. Did you bought used panties? In a vending machine. Did you smell them? I did. Do you still have them? No, I lost them, unfortunately. 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 They were like, yeah. okay, so, you know. I mean, listen. Who wouldn't want to buy them? It's like, a great story to I tell. Want, yeah, I just you wanted know? to see if it was like, if they're real. For his new girlfriend that comes over, it's like, <laughs> what are those? These are, don't, don't worry. These are the panties I bought in a vending machine in <laughs> yeah. Japan. Yeah. You don't have nothing yeah, to worry nothing about. Nothing to worry about at all. No. I just smelled them. Yeah. That's it. But it was crazy because we, we had them and we were staying at my friend's house in Japan. And we're like throwing them at each other, mm-hmm. you know, they're used. So it was just like funny, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever. Anyways, so like three days later, we looked and there was like a blood, like oh. it was like yellow and blood stain on it. Do you think it's a factory in Japan? They just like put little 
blood droplet. Know, but that's what, fucking, like, where else would they get these things? I don't know. That's the, they, they go into the Goodwill box and like, <laughs> and what if you got like a panties that were like this fucking? They were really thirty huge. bucks. Thirty dollars. I yeah, but I had to do it. I um, need. I needed wait, wait, wait. it. This Thir- dude paid thirty dollars <laughs> for used panties. <laughs> it was a. I mean, shit. It was a great story. You know what, Raj? I probably would have done it too. I get them for free. Not but, a, not out of a vending machine yeah. in Japan. Fuck no. I had to do it because it was out of a vending machine. D- d- I got it, man. I gotta go there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got, gotta get I those gotta, panties. I gotta go there. I gotta That's get those amazing. panties, dude. So Japan sounds like it's your favorite place to go. Because mm, we would go to. I mean, we we'd go on tours together and stuff, and we would go to France and. All kinds of rad fucking places. Remember on the Ecclesia Trucker tour? Mm-hmm. We went to Switzerland and Italy mm-hmm. and France and and you just wanted to go home. I get over being in a van like like. I mean, we all do, but hours. then we got to like, you got to look around and be like, God damn, I'm in Switzerland right now. And I was rooming with this asshole. Yeah. And so we we're in, we we're in Milan, right? And everyone's like, oh, we're going to go. We're all going to go out. And it looked completely dead. And he's like, oh, I'm just going to go back to the room and chill. I'm like looking around. I'm like, fuck. There's probably nothing happening. So I went back with Chris to go chill. It was college night. And it was like, buy one drink, get three free. What, so why? Are you blaming me? Yes. Oh. We did get pizza, though. So it was cool. We shared a pizza See? and watched a movie together. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I can remember, it was a great night. It's date night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my we God. Had good I, fucking time. Netflix and chill. Have you ever had like a meltdown on tour where like you get to your room? And you're like, fuck this. No, I don't think you you definitely get like fucking exhausted yeah. though. And you go through all these emotions of like, you know, I want to go home and yeah. this is fucking I've been out here for 2 You're weeks. You're sharing fucking a room with four dudes. Yeah. Or whatever, yeah. It gets tough, yeah. you know? But no, I don't think I've ever I mean, you've had meltdowns though. Yeah, but I love watching you flip the fuck out. It's amazing. <laughs> when was the last time you saw this guy flip out? I can't remember. Oh, wait. It was at that manual pad that, like, at DeVry, DeVry I think. Yep. And, like, Chris can hear me laughing, and he just focused his board. I'm trying a trick, and, like, yeah. I, I somebody's laughing at you? Yeah. Of course, no, of course not, you're going to get pissed. I wasn't laughing at you because of the oh, trick. Oh, you're laughing with me. No, I was, was that, laughing, <laughs> no, I was laughing, laughing at what you were doing when you were mad. Yeah. Like, when he's, like, throwing his board. Yeah. And I'm just in the back, like... He's fucking freaking out and having yeah, a meltdown. I I'm used just, to have meltdowns, but now I don't. I don't, I don't do it. I don't, I, can't, I don't get mad. I get mad, but I just feel stupid. I mean, I'll just focus my board and just end it. But I, I mean, know. like, I won't just keep screaming and shit. When I was on PAL, though, I was super fucking spoiled. I would break boards every single day. You've been sponsored since, how, what age did you get sponsored at? Nine or ten. Like, do you, have you ever taken money out of your pocket and bought a board? But I mean, the thing was, though, is like, I grew up skating X Games boards because I got my board stolen yep. twice. My dad got me... A Kostin OG 2000 deck mm-hmm. with Grind King trucks and acti- like blank wheels and active bearings. That was your first setup? That was my first real setup because my dad actually bought me this like weird fucking skateboard with like a Hawaiian chick on it, like plastic, plastic trucks, plastic wheels. And I was so pissed off because he just like, I just said like, dad, I want a skateboard. And so we're trying to look for one. And he's just like, oh, here you go. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. But you already knew about like, I need the good shit. No, I mean, I had like one of my friends like, that came over and I seen what he was skating because he was like, you know, really into Costin and had like, you know, like a legit setup. All my boards I ever got like were like pizza box boards, like no <laughs> nose, no tail, like they're completely chipped, like second handed. I got. So you, you rode for shit in the beginning. I, oh, complete garbage. Well, we all ride shit boards in the oh, beginning. Yeah, totally, totally. What yeah, was your first board? It had to have been like. See, a- to my first board is kind of fucking embarrassing. It was a fucking Tony Magnuson Uncle Wiggly board with fucking. A bright pink tracker in the front and a fucking bright blue in the back with uh, OJ Team Riders. See, I have no idea what you're talking about. Me neither, but it sounds better than my first board. Oh, it's yeah. definitely, it was definitely better than your first no, board. No, my first sure. board yeah. I bought the same. It's like yeah. a, a Kmart or yeah. something. It was yeah. like, you know, just a fucking bullshit board. Mm-hmm. Your first sponsor was Termite. How did you get on Termite? Is Termite still around? I don't, I don't know. know. So Termite was like a, a board brand for kids. Yeah, like, I got kicked off. How did you get kicked off? I was too old. <laughs> you were too old? They said, you're you had done. a cutoff date. Yeah, it was when you were 13, you got kicked off. No, no way. Yeah. Great self-esteem builder <laughs> for these kids, right? Yeah. Was Austin Gillette on the team with that? No, he like quit he around the time for, I got He skated on, yeah. for Termite too? Yeah. 
Raj knows his yeah. skateboarding. I'll tell you. Yeah. He schools me all he, the time. He's on the cover of the first video. Yeah. No way, all, yeah. really. All in off of like a, a carport or garage or something. Whoa. So like when you hit 13, do you graduate and then go to 16 skateboards? So that video was dope. Yeah, Zared Bissett fucking... Zared was on the team too? Yeah. No. I missed all this shit. I don't know what's going on. They asked me to ride for Dogtown. I was like, nah, I'd rather not have a board sponsor than <laughs> go well, to they, Dogtown. I, I, well, Even I, at that age, I was like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. And then I think I met, I was getting Bones Wheels and then um, I went on a Bones Wheels trip with DeVille. Mm-hmm. And then DeVille he finds me, all the young, like the young rippers, man. So what, then you got on Powell? Yeah, then I got on Powell, and then it was rad being on Powell, and that trip that I went on with you, and, like, Ernie, like, fucking, like, bummed me out, because he was talking so much shit. Ernie's good at that. Yeah. And he was ripping your he, sleeves off of your shirts. That's why. Well, and he then, was really good at it. Yeah. He, he could he, go up to yeah, anybody yeah. and just rip yeah. your sleeve. Yeah. Like, I don't know how he, he's... But he's like those, those weirdos that can rip a telephone book in half. I think he like made me cry or something. Like I was super bummed. I and do. Like, I remember, and bro. Then, you know, I just went back to my room and I was like under the covers or whatever. And like Ernie and Nick came in. But they're just like, hey, Dan, do you want to ride for real? And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Nick and Ernie hooked you up with real. Well, I went on a trip and then that was it. Right. What happened? I don't know. Oh, the first time I got drunk was on that trip. And Damien Bravo was the one that got me shit faced. How old were you? Like 16. Way to go, Damien. <laughs> well, I didn't know what vodka did to people. <laughs> <laughs> so people you that know. drink vodka still don't know what it does to them. But yeah, so then after that, I actually, I started getting fucking Christopher. You know how to spot talent. What? No, I think I do. Yeah. I think I do. Alex Olsen? Alex Olsen. Yeah. Well, we, we skated together because more of his dad. Yeah. I was friends with his dad in Malibu. We'd always hang out, and then Alex would be around all the time too, so fucking bring him skating you know mm-hmm. fucking kid ripped you know so yeah then uh then daniel and then uh they all turn out to be shit bags though it's <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucked up man i don't know what the problem is how did you get on cliche how did that all come about? how did you leave team chris roberts to go to cliche <laughs> i know it hurt my feelings yeah i just you know i was getting I was getting chocolate flow and I ended up going with Joey to like a cliche demo at Van Skate Park and it was just me and my friend and we were skating and I wasn't part of the demo. Yeah. So I was just like skating and then uh, after the demo happened, we all sat down for dinner and Jeremy and like Lucas and Joey were kind of all right there and JB and he asked me if I wanted to write for cliche. Jeremy asked you or? Jeremy asked me. Rad. And I mean, like, I always looked up to Lucas after Fully Flared and stuff. Yep. And so, like, you know, it's Lucas, Joey, which I've known forever, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and... Same here. A, you Same know, here. A, a European company that was, like, you know, just different. Yeah. And they asked me if I wanted to ride for them. This guy's had one video part. That's one, not true. One video part. No. It's not true. How, how many video parts have you had? I've had two, bro. <laughs> and I... You know, I had the last part in the termite video. That fucking counts. So, so wait, how many? <laughs> wait, you had a part in the termite video, and you had a part in Bon, bon Voyage. Um, so, are you gonna have a full part in this Lakai video you're working on now? I would like to. Yeah. Are you gonna have a full part in this video? I want to. That's my goal. That's okay. a better answer. <laughs> I've actually been. I fucking hate going on solo missions. Mm-hmm. But lately, well, it's no fun skating by yourself. It's not. But lately, that's pretty much what I've been doing. But sometimes you have to though, because like. It's better that way. Yeah, it's I, like, I, it is hard. It is hard. It's go, hard, but at the same time, if you, if you want to get your shit done and work on your project and work on your video part, you gotta be like, gotta be a little right. selfish. No, yeah. I I totally agree because when you go in the, with the in the vans and everything, and you yeah, like you got I six like skaters. I like that though. It's always fun skating with you boys. Yeah, something burning. Nope, not yet. Could be the lights. I feel like something. We burning. have high production value I feel here. Like something's you know? burning. <laughs> Oh. oh, I don't have a replacement bowl for that. Well, the fucking socket blew. No, the I just fucking, the ball blew. No, I, the no, fucking I just seen socket the thing in the blew. Middle. Oh, really? it fucking had that smoke. Yeah, maybe it had smoke coming out of it. I knew I smelled something, dude. That, when this fucking thing blew up, you saw it. You know, I seen like the switch spark. Oh, the switch! I swear, I seen the switch spark. Um, what were we talking about before the light blew? Uh, we had a technical know. difficulty here. The light fucking blew. Raj's fuse 
fucking blew out the fucking wall. We, I told him to go get a fire extinguisher. He went and looked for an extension cord to plug the light back in. <laughs> We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. So the lighting looks a little different. Raj had to go get his uh, PL290 35 watt <laughs> light, whatever. Um, do you guys remember what the hell we were talking about before the light blew? Dude, it's termite? I don't even okay. remember. No. So, you guys are asking me questions, so, I think. Yeah. We were, oh, is that right? I think. Okay. I just but remembered so, my favorite story about you. Oh, uh-oh. What was that? <laughs> when you said that you, like, rolled your ankle on the way to a spot in a car. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've heard this before. What? Yeah, that's what I heard. Someone told me that. Oh, tell, tell me. Yeah. This is interesting. Someone said that you said that you rolled your ankle. On in the your w- car. <laughs> no, it was, they said it was in your car. In my car. Yeah, like on the way to the spot. I heard that one. I heard um, I dislocated my toe in my sleep. I think I remember hearing about that one too. That's never happened to me. You know I what? remember you. I think, you, know what this, you know what this is a case of? No, I rolled my ankle in my sleep. Was it? Dude, I think so. so. <laughs> I think the blanket like caught his foot. This is so. But that's what I heard. I, but you know what though? <laughs> this is a game of telephone. You yeah. ever heard of the game telephone? Yeah. I heard Where it. the truth, somebody tells you something right. and the truth gets stretched <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's a completely different story. <laughs> grapevine. Yeah. Well, I always, I've always, I always tell people cause everybody's like, oh man, I hurt my back and I, I did this or, but, but it not skating, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, and I always make a joke. I'm always like. Well, dude, I get hurt in my sleep. Yeah. Like, I'll wake up with a fucking rolled ankle. I'm like, how did I do that? Yeah. But I'm joking. Yeah. So, like, somebody probably said that. I heard it, though. I always, yeah. I always just say that. Yeah. I always make... You've heard me... Have you heard me say totally, that Totally, yeah. 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 I've heard some dumbass excuses from Chris. All right. Well, uh... It's been real. As Raj takes uh, his last sip of his beer, and Daniel's uh, almost done with his beer, I'd like to thank uh, all our sponsors, which is nobody. Nobody. <laughs> and, Out of pocket uh, productions. Yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, I'd like to thank Daniel for coming on the show, driving thank all you. the way from uh, Pomona to be here. My pleasure, Chris. You're welcome anytime. Thanks. Yeah. I was with you. See? I was like, yeah. And then no titties show up. I didn't even get dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. All on accident. My fucking career was just on accident. <laughs> I fucking just closed my eyes. It just happened. <laughs>